Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video catching up with the latest Hell Let Loose news and that is the 2023 roadmap reveal which came out a few days ago and what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below this video so you can click over and I highly recommend you watch the video of the uh, the devs and the publisher talking about Hell Let Loose. Now if you're not aware, Hell Let Loose is a first person World War 2 shooter kind of semi-realistic sort of st sit somewhere in between like armor and battlefield um it's done very well for itself um and has a distinct following on next gen consoles and on pc as well um, however it does have a new development team now and it really looks like they're positioning hell let loose as a direct competitor to battlefield um, which is going to be interesting because it's a bit hardcore at the moment hell let loose the games last an awful long time so i thought it'd be interesting to read through the the uh the notes and then we'll have a look at a little bit more detail at the roadmap um and this kind of gives us the hints and tips about how hell let loose is is moving probably moving away from the hardcore shooter end of the market um to position itself as a, as a real battlefield, maybe even a Call of Duty contender, while hopefully keeping its key atmosphere and spirit. So here we go. So a message from the studio. We're so pleased to announce our ambitious 2023 roadmap for Hell Let Loose. We can't wait for fans to jump in and play update 13.5 on April the 5th, as well as all the exciting updates we've planned this year. It's been an awesome start to the year as we've built this new studio defined the 2023 roadmap and announce our plan to support the title for years to come with each update this year we'll focus on improving quality of life along with updating and polishing the amazing content already in the game as a gift to the players joining us on this adventure we'll be offering free dlc with each major update to come inside with some amazing new premium in other words paid for items throughout the year we understand the importance of getting new players up to speed quickly so they can enjoy frontline battles with our veteran players and contribute to the squad-based experience Hell at Loose is known for. We're dedicated to bringing a robust onboarding system to players starting in July with continued support in each update going forward. We want everyone to have an exciting and immersive experience in the game uh, and hope this new system will go a long way to support that. Yeah, I mean, basically, what you've got to do at the moment, if you want to get into Hell Let Loose, you've got to download their manual, which is um, which is good, but quite long to kind of figure out what you've got to do. The teams are hard at work refining the two new game modes coming in July, December, along with the anticipated Finnish Winter War and Danzig Post Office Battles, uh, which kick off our New Year 1 Year of War content for each game calendar year. Starting this year, we'll cover 1939, the move to 1940 next year and continue until the end of the conflict in 1945. So, you know, they're looking at supporting this game for six for another six years, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's a long time in video game, isn't it? That would be, you know, what, 2029. <laughs> um, so, yeah, happy days. I think I think there's, there's a lot of hopes behind this. I think they've really looked at the devs and uh, the publisher have looked at Hell Let Loose and thought, yeah, Okay, with the state that Battlefield's in, with the state that Call of Duty's in, there's there's definitely a gap here for a for a, a more serious shooter that is based, you know, boots on the ground, World War Two, or even, and um, they don't mention anything in this uh, roadmap, but they have said previously that they would be open to using the Hell Let Loose franchise or the Hell Let Loose name in different eras. So in theory, you could have a Hell Let Loose career. Or a hell let loose Vietnam. Oh, how cool would that be? We're steadfast in delivering this exciting 2023 roadmap to players and will be transparent with the community regarding any changes if and when they surface. We'll have more to share about the new studio in the coming weeks, but in the meantime, we'd like to answer some of your questions about the 2023 roadmap and hear any suggestions you might have for our new Hell Let Loose merchandise store. We want to offer compelling items players will be excited to wear and use, so feel free to send us your input and leave your questions below to be answered in a future dev brief. Thank you to all our veteran players and welcome to any new players just discovering Hell Let Loose. We appreciate you and want to support your love of the game. And then they up, it's a bit about updating the Discord. So let's have a look at this roadmap. Can we... Oh, is it going to let us zoom in? That's better. So basically, so they've created... A new studio 
uh, of devs, and a lot of them seem to be British actually, that are going to be working and developing on that game. And that points towards a lot of money being invested in Hell Let Loose and the Hell Let Loose franchise. So for April, we've got general bug fixing, free DLC, quality of life improvements, gameplay analytics. So this is to do with the back end so the devs can identify and fix bugs better, and premium DLC. So we're, as you'd expect, if you're investing millions of uh, dollars or millions of pounds in a game studio, you're going to want some money back, you know. And with a game as a live service like Hell Let Loose is, um, it's not going to be Hell Let Loose 2, so they're going to sell cosmetics, aren't they? So in June... General bug, fi- general bug fixing, free DLC, quality of life, game plan al- analytics, map refreshes, new website, the British forces are coming. So we're going to be getting the British you know, uniform skins, we're going to be getting the Sherman Firefly tank, Bren's uh, LMG, the Sten SMG, that sort of thing, I guess the Lee Enfield they'll probably have. Updated in-game player reporting tools, non-verbal communication, and again this is pointing towards the fact that they're they're going to be trying to get in new players, so and we know that if you have more uh, less casual players, so, sorry, more casual players, they're less likely to have mics on, so you need to be able to communicate because Hello Loose is a very squad based game. Improved player locomo- locomotion, absolutely. You do feel like you're getting hung up a lot of the time in Hell Let Loose. If you know you've got to really decide where you're going. New merch store, premium DLC. July more bug fixing, gameplay and analytics the new tutorial new game mode game mode objective and if you watch the video they talk about creating these smaller game modes um whereby they're not lasting an hour and a half and i think it's such a good idea they, they should do this because to, to be honest a lot of the time a game of hell let loose is just too long you know we don't all have an hour and a half to spend especially when you log into a game and it's like three quarters of the way through you know, um, you just want to play a, a smaller game mode. So they're going to use smaller maps, infantry only. Looking forward to it. They're bringing in the 101st Airborne uh, American uh, Infantry, the in-game store, premium DLC. September Windows version, map refresh, Steam Deck version, and some more premium DLC. And then in December, new tutorial, new game mode, skirmish against small infantry-based game mode, the Battle of Danzig. So this is in Poland. Um, so this is going to be the Polish versus the Russians. That's interesting, isn't it? That's that's an area of World War Two that we I don't think we've really seen, probably outside of RTSs at all. You know, because it's it's part of the Second World War that doesn't really get mentioned. The fact that right at the beginning, Germany wasn't the only one that invaded Poland. Russia did as well as they divided the country and smashed Poland. The Winter War, another part of World War Two that hasn't really been looked at very much. So this is the Russians versus the Finns in the icy Norths. So Finnish and Polish forces, obviously, new clan system, great idea to bring people together, updated game audio and soundtrack, and some more premium DLC. So we're going to see lots of new skins that you can buy to customise your soldiers. Um, but hopefully it's all going to stay within the spirit of Hell at Loose, and I'm sure it will. You know, they, they'll know they cannot throw it away. The reason why people are moving away from Battlefield. The reason why people are moving away from Call of Duty is because they want serious shooters. They don't want to run around as cartoon characters. They don't want to have hook shots that allow them to scale tall buildings in a single bound. You know, we want serious boots on the ground shooters based in World War II, Vietnam, Korea, the modern warfare era, that sort of thing. Um, And uh, I think Hell at Loose, fingers crossed, We'll be able to do it. So what do you think? Make sure you click through to their video to to watch the video in full because it's very interesting. Put your questions and comments down below. And of course, I will see you again soon.